Hello! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna and I'm a vegan living in London, originally from the US and Japan. And today I am coming to you from Geneva, Switzerland. Um, this is my hotel room that I'm staying in for the weekend. Um, I'm here for a marathon, the Geneva Marathon. And so I thought I would vlog the weekend, show you guys what I get up to, what vegan needs I find, how the marathon goes. I'm particularly nervous for this marathon for a number of reasons. One, my calves have been super, super, super tight, like more than normal this training cycle. And I think it's like coming to a head right as the marathon is happening. And I'm really scared I'm gonna like cramp up or get injured or something. I don't know, I'm like super nervous about that. And also it's super hot here. It's gonna be a high of 28 degrees, which is around like 80 degrees Fahrenheit tomorrow. And I'm not used to running in hot weather. I'm used to running in like 20 or less degree weather. So I'm really, really nervous about that, like getting dehydrated or burning out or having to like, you know, quit the race. Yeah, I'm super nervous about that. So hopefully I'll be okay. But yeah, I, I got here last night, so I haven't seen anything. I went for a quick three mile shakeout run this morning and I didn't I didn't go into the city. I went to this like United Nations park thing. Today I'll go into the city and explore, um, get my bib, stuff like that. One thing about Geneva is people don't wear masks, it seems. Like on the plane, nobody wore masks. When I got off the plane, nobody wore masks. On the train, nobody wore masks. So I guess it's just as lax as London. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe it'll change when I get to the city. But also like I'm having like this weird allergic reaction. I don't know what it is. I don't think it's eczema because this doesn't look like eczema, but like, it's so weird. And I have like little tiny bumps all over my stomach. I don't know, I'm scared. Hopefully I'll be okay. But yeah, let's get into the day. I think I'm gonna join a walking tour, like a free walking tour, just to like see all the sights of Geneva. And my skin has gotten progressively worse. I picked up some allergy medicine from the pharmacy, but yeah, I don't know if it's gonna do anything, but um, yeah, let's join this walking tour. Because this is why all of the so bright it looks so weird I don't know sorry about that but um yeah so I'm back in the hotel I was outside like all day so I think I'm gonna chill for a bit but I went to the grocery store and I bought a few things so maybe like tomorrow or today I'll do some taste tests but I, oh, oh God. 
I found these vegan sour gummies. It's interesting, most of the stuff at the grocery store, even though um, Geneva is French speaking, a lot of the stuff that you find is German. So I thought that was interesting, but I also found vegan chocolate. It was not easy to find vegan chocolate. It, all of it pretty much had butter or milk. And I also found these chocolate covered almonds, which I'm very excited to try. But at that lunch place that I went to, it's funny, like, I don't know, maybe it's just the two places I chose, but it seems like the vegan options here are like tartine, like toast, stuff on toast, um, which is interesting. But anyway, they also have a bunch of like pastries. So I picked up a lemon tart and a cinnamon roll to bring home. And the lemon tart is so messed up. It was like, I put it in my backpack. I don't know if you can tell. Yeah, I put it in my backpack and it did not travel very well, but it looks so good. And so, yeah, I think I'm going to try this now. Um, but about the walking tour, it was actually so interesting and so informative. I highly recommend it. I don't remember the company, but I'll put it on the screen um, if you guys are interested in attending one in the future. Yeah, it was really informative. It talks a lot about the history of Geneva and its role in Switzerland. And um, something interesting is that it's a Protestant, mainly Protestant place. So a lot of the buildings are like not as like out there. They're more conservative and like sober, I guess, compared to like Catholic cities that, where there's like huge cathedrals and lots of like decorative buildings and stuff like that. It's way more subdued here. And also like you would think Switzerland is a very progressive country with like women's rights and all of that, but actually it's not. Um, it's a very conservative country and women didn't even get the right to vote until the 70s. So yeah, food for thought. Let's move on to the food. I'm gonna try this lemon tart. Cheers, I'm so excited. Oh. I wish I had, oh, I wish I had, cut. oh my God, I wish I had <laughs> cutlery. Mmm, that's really good. I love lemon tart. 10 out of 10. So good. All right, I think I'm gonna like just chill in my home room and maybe watch Netflix or something and then I'll take you guys out to dinner and I think I'm gonna watch the sunset from a park. So stay tuned. Okay. So I think I'm gonna head out now. I just was on my computer for like, <laughs> two hours just like watching Netflix and I'm getting kind of bored so I think I'm going to go to the park that I have been wanting to go to now um, it's supposed to be really beautiful so I want to go and then get dinner after that and then probably just call it a night and get ready for bed um, and yeah my skin is like not looking good at all that's why I'm like kind of like <laughs> um, backed up from the camera because I'm it's a bit unsightly. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. This happens quite a bit with my skin these days. Like my skin will just flare up, um, yeah, quite frequently. So I am going to see a doctor about this. I've seen multiple doctors actually already, but I haven't found any answers. So let's get going. I just like sat there with my Kindle, which I'm reading the book about the Sacklers, about the Sackler family right now. Um, it's pretty interesting, but yeah, that was so nice. And it's just like, I feel like I'm back in my like backpacking solo travel days and just feel very like nostalgic. And it's been a while since I've traveled by myself. I don't think I've done it since my backpacking trip, which was like four years ago. <laughs> Um, and yeah, like dining out alone, doing things by myself, it's fun. I'm enjoying this. And yeah, today was just like a really nice relaxed day. 
It makes me feel a little bit more confident about the marathon tomorrow. Hopefully I don't die. But yeah, I'm gonna walk. I'm walking to a Vietnamese restaurant now. It's like a vegetarian restaurant. Um, so yeah, let's eat. It's closed now. Oh my God. So the place I wanted to go to is closed slash might be out of business. I'm not really sure, but yeah, so I'm gonna try to go to an Italian restaurant and hope for some vegan options. Fingers crossed, so I'm walking to like a nearby pizza place. So let's see. That was, I don't know, it was a lot of pizza, <laughs> but I ate it all. It was so good. Yeah, there were no vegan options that were like labeled or anything, but because like all the pizzas had cheese. There were a few, I think, vegan spaghetti options or pasta options, but I went with like a vegetarian pizza, no cheese, added mushrooms, and it was pretty, pretty, pretty good. It's pretty, 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 pretty good. But I think for dessert, even though I'm freaking full, I wanted to try some of the things that I got. I'll try the two um, chocolate products. So I'll start with the chocolate covered almonds. Oh, they're huge. I don't know if you can tell. They're pretty big. Oh, the curtains in the shot. All right. Cheers. Mm. They're pretty good. Exactly what you'd expect. I like it. Then let's try the Choba Choba. Farmer owned 71% dark chocolate. Swiss Grand Cru chocolate. I don't know. It's from Peru. Sudamerica and Dominican Republic. The infamous or famous Swiss chocolate, even though it's not actually Swiss, it is from mostly South America, but ooh. Really good. It's rich, dark. Look at that. You can like tell, you know, that bite. You can tell it's rich. Mm. I think I'm gonna just watch a, um, like an hour of Netflix and then go to bed. It's like eight, eight thirty now, and I have to leave. The marathon starts at nine forty-five. So, and I have to be the thirty minutes early for bag drop. So I'll probably leave. I don't know like 8.30 or something. But yeah, see you guys tomorrow, uh, fresh and early. Hopefully my skin will be better. Probably not. Usually when this happens, it gets worse. <laughs>
I don't know, nervous, like anxious about having a certain like um, end time. But yeah, today it was so hot. I think it was close to like 28 degrees and no clouds, all sun, which like obviously if you're not running a marathon is fantastic, but like not when you're running a marathon and not when you're used to not training in this weather. And there were actually so many people who were like falling over, like needed medical attention. Um, there was even like a helicopter I think that came. I don't know if it was like just to oversee everything or if he was like rescuing somebody, but yeah, we saw a helicopter and it's pretty scary. Like I think people don't realize how serious it is when it's like really hot and you're not used to training in hot weather and it's a marathon. <laughs> Like, it's not just like a 5k run, you know, it's a freaking marathon, so you have to take it quite seriously. I don't think people really, well, I think like a lot of the younger, like it was a lot of like young men, young boys who were like needing medical attention. But yeah, it was so hot, it was like, I'm so glad I had my hat because it saved me. It was, if I didn't have a hat, I would have probably not been able to do it. Like there was no shade. I mean, there were some sections with shade, but like the majority of the time there was no shade, very little wind. It was just so hot. Um, and yeah, there were times where I just wanted to quit. I just didn't want to continue. I was like, uh, I will be happy if I just like finish this. Like, I mean, my goal before coming was like, four hours 20 but then when I realized that it was going to be so hot I was like forget it my goal is to just finish and I was I was I would have been happy with like a five hour finish you know like the fact that I did it in less than four hours 30 is like I'm pretty happy with that um and I stopped a lot <laughs> I stopped to walk quite a bit um yeah I just I was really tired <laughs> it was so hot <laughs> Um, but the race organization itself was really nice. I mean, the staff were all really helpful and there was like tons of water and Gator, not Gatorade, but like Swiss version of um, sports drink. And I didn't really eat much. I don't know, I tried to eat. So usually on long runs, I eat like a granola bar, but I had one bite of my granola bar and I almost wanted to puke. It was just so dry and sticky and didn't, feel good in my mouth so I was like forget it I'm not gonna eat anything because I don't know it just wasn't nothing was like feeling good to me so I just stuck with like sports drinks which I mean it worked out this time I don't know maybe that's not the best idea but it worked out for me this time um but the funny thing is at the finish line they didn't really give us anything like they gave us water in cups and some like small bits of fruit but you know at the end of the race well usually for me i've most of the races i've been to they give you like a bag full of like watered bottle and other snacks so i don't know i feel like it was kind of important to give us bottled water because it was so hot but luckily i had brought in my like bag my like drop-off bag i put in coconut water and some snacks not that i was hungry i could i couldn't really eat the snack that i the snacks that i brought but yeah, after the marathon, I was just so tired. My legs hurt so bad. They still hurt so bad. Um, my calves, fortunately, did not act up. I mean, they were tight, but like nothing happened with them. They felt normal. Um, yeah, luckily nothing happened with my calves. I feel like my body was just so concentrated on like getting me through the race that I didn't even need to pee. Like, I feel like that's a problem. Like, I feel like my body was like, in like panic mode, like survival mode, like just get, just get through this. Like I didn't need to pee even though I was drinking tons and tons of water. I forced myself to pee in the middle of the race because I was like, this is weird. Um, but yeah, the finish line was crazy. There were so many people. There was like a huge festival, like lots of like food vendors and beer. And yeah, I was like, I don't want to participate in any of this. I just want to go home. But it took me so long to get home because I like rested for like 30 minutes on the grass in the shade and then I walked home but it's only like 25 minute walk from the finish line to the hotel but it took me like an hour because I was walking so slowly and I was so tired and when I came back here I took a nap because <laughs> I just did not feel good and now I feel better I feel like more of a human I ordered uber eats so I'm gonna eat some dinner and I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe after dinner, if I have some energy in me, I'll go outside, but we'll see. 
I feel like maybe I'll just stay inside for the rest of the day. But overall, it went okay, I guess. I don't know, it was really freaking hard. It was really hard. It was, I was like, I'm never doing a marathon again. While I was running, I was like, this is horrible. Why do I do this? Why do I train for these things? Like, I'm never running a marathon ever again. But I don't know. What's wrong with me? But yeah, I keep doing them. <laughs> Um, but before I go, I wanted to try these Wonderland Vitamin uh, Cat, 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 Cheese, Cat Ease, I don't know, they're supposed to be sour, I love the unicorn, ah, it's too bright, Okay, whatever. It's green and yellow. Oh, whoa. Those are proper sour. Those are good. I think I got a winner here. That is so good. Oh my god. I really like them. Mmm. So good. I got the goods, it looks so good. Falafel, grape leaves, stuffed grape leaves, some salad, hummus, I think this is like eggplant. I also threw in this dessert, but I don't know if I can eat this. It might have nuts. And fries, gotta have some fries. It's still warm, thank God. I hate cold fries. And then some bread. One thing, they did not give me any utensils, so I'm just gonna have to eat everything with the bread, I guess. Um, but yeah, bon appetit, looks so good. So I decided to step out for a bit. Um, I wanna go down to like this area I've been wanting to check out. It's where these two rivers meet. It's supposed to be really pretty, so let's go. So that was kind of anticlimactic. <laughs> it was mostly just like people drinking and doing shisha and yeah. It wasn't really like a chill spot. I was hoping to find a place to sit and have my, I have this dessert that I bought yesterday. It's not really dessert, but it's a cinnamon roll. I've been wanting to eat. Didn't find a place that was like really suitable because it was, yeah, it was just like big groups of friends like hanging out, so. Yeah, and the river crossing thing, I don't know, maybe it was like the time of day that I went, it just wasn't that impressive. I'm glad I went just to see it, but it seems like more of like a locals place rather than like a tourist attraction, which is fine, totally fine. And then I walked back, which, I regret because my legs are so <laughs> unbelievably tired, like insanely tired. So I don't know if that was the best choice, but I'm going to sit down with my cinnamon roll and eat it finally after that trek. So yeah, probably we'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye. recorded much today because I was working basically the whole time but oh the weather today is so much nicer than yesterday for like running I really wish the marathon was today instead of yesterday for lunch I tried to find a place to eat and I went to three different places the first two places were closed I don't know why so I ended up going to this like Sri Lankan restaurant which was actually so good um, as you saw, I got a masala dosa and this really nice lady next to me was like, you made a great choice. Masala dosa is so good here. It's like the best in Switzerland, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay, sure. Um, but yeah, and then I worked some more and now I'm going to get a bubble tea before my flight. Cause I don't know why I've been craving bubble tea today. So that's what I'm going to do.
got grapefruit tea juice. I mean, grapefruit tea, bubble tea. Grapefruit green bubble tea. Green tea, grapefruit. I don't know. It's green tea with grapefruit and bubbles. I've never seen grapefruit on a bubble tea menu, so I decided to get it, and it's pretty freaking good. There's like real grapefruit pieces in here. Pretty good. Hello, so I'm back home in London, and I'm wearing my Geneva Marathon tea. Um, but yeah, my skin is looking a lot better than it was when I left Switzerland. Um, but yeah, I'm going to a doctor next week to just to see if I can get a handle on my skin problems, but yeah, I don't know if you guys are interested in that, but <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I can keep you guys updated if you're interested. I don't know. It might be a whirlwind of a journey just because I don't know what's wrong with my skin. But anyway, yeah, so that was a very intense and fun, beautiful weekend in Geneva. Quite painful. <laughs> um, but I'm excited to not have to train for anything for a while. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed watching that video and please subscribe if you're not subscribed. And yeah, I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.